Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'd like to go over setting up your Mass Effect 3 with EMB and Sweet Effects. I will leave a link under the video here in order to get the files if you'd like to add them to your game. You can find the files here at ModDB or at Nexus Mods. With Nexus Mods, you just go to the files and download the first one here by clicking the manual download. With ModDB, you just want to click the download now. Once you've actually downloaded the file, you can open that file and minimize your browser. Then you're going to want to go to your game folder. Being an origin game, you want to go to this PC, C drive, program files, and origin games here. And you'll find your game folders listed inside that folder. So you go to the Mass Effect 3, Binaries, and Win32. Once you're there, you're just going to drag and drop the contents of the download into the game folder, and then you can close that download. You'll want to just leave this folder open while you do your first run of the game to make sure that everything is working correctly. And if it's working correctly, you should see the EMB running in the upper left when you start the game and you should be able to use the pause break in order to toggle the effects on and off. If everything's working correctly, when you exit the game, just close the game folder here and you're all finished. This next part that I'm gonna do is I'll just go over a few things to look for when you're using this. Now, if the game happens to start but the graphics are off or the texturing doesn't look right or if the game itself doesn't start at all then what you want to do is go to the game folder here and go to that alt d3 d9 folder and inside you'll find four subfolders each one has a d3 d9 dll depending on your video card you may have to alter the launcher so what you would do is starting with the first folder you just want to copy that d3 d9 dll don't cut it so that you leave the original in place and just paste that over top of the existing one once you've done that then start the game again and see if the problem is corrected if not then just switch through those four folders and the four launchers and one of them should work with your video card as far as the sweet effects settings, you don't actually use the sweet effects settings text here. If you notice, there's a sweet effects preset text here, and if you look in that, that directs it to the sweet effects presets folder in the Mass Effects 3 settings text. So you would find the actual settings file here in sweet effects presets, and it's this one here, the Mass Effect 3 settings text. So you can make any changes you want here. If you happen to start the game and the game is extremely dark and oversaturated looking, not like it looks in the pictures and videos, then what you want to do is actually go to this file and under the choose effects, you want to turn off that first line, the SMAA anti-aliasing. And you would just change that to zero and then you would want to save and close the file. Start the game again and that should correct that oversaturation and the darkness issue. If you happen to want to use different settings or you downloaded a different setup file from the SweetFX site, then you would also place that here and then you would name this one to Mass Effect 3 Old, um, something similar to this one, Mass Effect 3 Original just changing its name slightly and then you would change the new one to Mass Effect 3 settings text so that that preset file will refer to the new settings file. If you'd prefer to leave it with its name then what you would have to do is go to the SweetFX presets here and change the name here then to match it. 
but either way that will allow you to use a different settings file if you want to use a different settings file. One last thing, if you're running the game and you notice that you have a lag or FPS issues, then what you want to do is go to the game folder here and open the EMB series I and I. Under the global settings, the third grouping down, you'll notice the third line down allow anti-alias. And what you want to do is change that to zero and then save and close the file. And that will correct any FPS or lag issues if it's being caused by the add-on here. So that basically covers everything as far as the setup and altering the file should you need to. If there are any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to see more content like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I'll talk to you again.